What a beauty. First time I've ever seen one in flight. I don't want to lose sight of it. Hold on. Yeah. You still see it? Is that just a sandbag? Well, yeah, it's a sandbag, but I've got scope and camera okay. attached to it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Works for me. Setup, and I'm yeah. uh, actually uh, streaming this live, so. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you just driving around trying to find? Pretty much. I mean, I, I had heard that there were sightings uh, in this area. Yeah, that's what. And I, I looked around. I didn't see anything. And, you know, I couldn't, as driving, driving by, I didn't see anything. And then I saw you. And I thought, oh, he's got a camera. Maybe, <laughs> maybe something's going on. Yeah, you don't so. always have to find the birds. You just got to find the birders. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we were we were we just followed an eBird's uh, pin to here, and then we came around the corner, and I thought I saw a lump on the ice, and turned out it was it. Good for you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Let me check in on the chat room. Oh. Okay, hopefully we're back up and running. We're looking at a snowy owl. I'm not sure what you have seen. I'm gonna brighten it up, believe it or not, because this is backlit, and uh, things are difficult. But we're looking at a snowy owl on the ground. Beautiful. Uh, it did take off. At one point it was a lot closer, and uh, very grateful to the people that I had seen uh, who had seen this and you know we would have driven right out of the area so we're looking at a snowy owl it's not very close it was closer had a nice look at it until it took off and I did capture not all of the takeoff certainly but I did uh, get some of it in flight. I had never seen one in flight before with my own eyes. And 
I'm looking around, by the way. Not, I don't know if I, ex I'm not necessarily expecting a second owl. Would love for it to come closer. We're not going to be here too long if it's going to stay there, uh, you know, for an extended period. But um, anyway, it's it's good to see this beautiful owl. Again, I'm I'm sorry things are very bright. Uh, I'm even having a hard time seeing if we're in focus, and we're not. It's not very close. I had seen earlier, earlier in the week, uh, a report or two, I think it was on two consecutive days, of a snowy owl in the area. And, you know, in this, in, you know, seen from here. That's why we were driving along here. see we're getting some heat shimmer. Uh, it is sunny and the conditions for seeing this this beautiful owl are, are not the very best certainly. Look at how cute! <clears throat> I love their faces. Look how beautiful that owl is. I wish we were closer. I can see it with the naked eye. Uh, I, I, no, I know where it is, uh, but it's again, it's not very close. And the reason why I can see it with the naked eye is because it is backlit. It looks like a dark, uh, a dark spot to me. I am so glad I saw that guy with the camera. I've mentioned before, and this is, you know, a repeat lesson, really. You know, you can look for the birds and everything, but sometimes, as, as he said, I don't know if you caught it or not, sometimes you have to look for the birders. Should be back. Oh, what's that? Oh, we've got to... Hold on. Something closer. A lot closer. I want to see. If, can, if I can. Come on. Got to find it. Alright, it's moving on. I believe, I'm not sure, but I think that was a horned lark. Here we go. Okay, hopefully we're live again.
no horned larks. Oh, look at that. I hope. What a cute face.